your debit card in a transaction, you get money back. Like literally, I think uh, maybe two months ago, I just got an extra $10. I had forgotten that I had even used my card. It was nice, hey, the extra, actually any extra money, I'm happy to um, accept. Welcome to Single Mom Money, where we discuss things like building wealth, dodging debt, and single parent money tips. So today, I wanna to talk to you guys about some sneaky, sneaky <laughs> ways to find some extra money for your budget, right? That's really the name of the game for me. A lot of people discuss expenses and costs and how to reduce costs, and that's, that's great. I mean, there's an argument there for that, but at the end of the day, you need to add some money to that budget if you want it to do what you really need it to do. My personal opinion, if you want to fight about it, actually, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I mean, you can go in the comments if you want, but that's that. Anyway, back to today's topic, which is some ways that I've used for years for some of them to actually add or pad my budget for the year. And I think these are some incredible things that you guys can um, benefit from as well. So let's get right into it. The first one is cash back. So take advantage of cash back. Mostly I'm referring to debit cards, but we will touch on credit cards in a bit. So those debit cards, um, namely from your bank, I have one, I bank with PNC Bank, well, one of my banks. Um, there are other banks that have similar programs where simply because they have a partnership with a certain business or company, if you use their debit card in a transaction, you get money back, like literally. I think uh, maybe two months ago, I just got an extra $10. I had forgotten that I had even used my card. It was nice, hey, the extra, actually any extra money I'm happy to um, accept. So I didn't do anything outside of my norm, which is always something that I am looking to do is to make money doing what I'm already doing. Target has a similar debit card, so that means that you are you're using your own money essentially with these debit cards. Uh, and they don't give you cash back per se, but they will reduce your cost right at the register. Um, another one, like I mentioned, is, is credit cards. And this is not something I really am an advocate of for cash back, but most certainly if you are responsible with your credit card, meaning that you pay it off every month before the interest is calculated and accrued, then look into cash back. I mean, you can get paid to buy groceries, your gas, I mean, really anything, shopping. It's a great way to generate a little bit of income. Um, for me, with the cash back rewards programs, either through my debit cards or my credit card, I easily get about five to $10 per month. And if I top off at $10 per month, that's a $120 a year, like literally from just using the same cards that I would have used anyway to do the things I was already doing. So that's why I'm a big advocate of getting those cash back um, mostly debit cards or transactions basically, uh, but credit cards, again, if, if you uh, feel you're responsible to use credit cards. Another really good cash back program, which I will um, link in the description here, is Ebates. Well, it was called Ebates, but now it's called some weird name like Recruiting. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but that's what, it's, that's what it's called. It's an awesome program because what they do is they partner mostly with um, like clothing stores, but they have all sorts of partnerships. I'm even planning to buy my tires through Ebates. So essentially the way that you get paid is you log onto their website first because they have this partnership with whatever online company, you get a percentage of whatever you pay for through, well, I mean, yeah, first you have to be on their site and then they kind of bounce you to the, to the other site to make the purchase. And then a piece of that, that purchase price comes back to you in the form of a cash back. So here's Rakuten or Ebates or whatever you wanna call it. I'm um, just to give you guys a quick overview of what this interface looks like. This is the app, it's pretty simple to use as you can tell. I'm looking through some deals that they have right now. Um, it's also sorted by A to Z, the business partners that they have where you can get cash back. So I'm just scrolling through that really quickly. You can already tell there's like quite a few different businesses that they partner with. 
the list goes on. It's pretty extensive. And then there's cash back only because they do offer some coupons for certain businesses. So if you want to sort out those who only offer cash back, you can do that as well. And they have their featured um, partners as, as well, as you can see. But it's pretty simple to use, very straightforward. I don't have any issues navigating the site at all. All right, next. So we have our hot deals, which are just just that. <laughs> really good deals that are going on right now. There's quite a few of those. And now I'm just giving you a quick look at how the search feature works. It's pretty, again, straightforward. That was just a backpack company that I had looked up recently. So they're in there. Tons of tons of uh, different people that they partner with. So that's very good for you as the shopper. And next, I'm going to go into the in-store offers. So now they're doing a new thing where you can link your debit card and actually get cash back right in the store. So that's a feature that I haven't tried yet, but seems pretty good. And here's a snapshot of my account. So I have about seven bucks in there right now. Like I said, not a huge amount, but still um, every little bit adds up, right? All right, so I'm going to show you guys kind of how to earn cash back. Like I mentioned, log into the site first. They bounce you to another um, site, and that's when you make your purchase. And then you get paid out every three months. So they have a schedule listed here, so you can see when you'll get that nice check. So I usually get between 5 and $10 per month using, I'm going to call it Ebates or whatever its new name is, Rakuten. If you guys are interested, I do have a link in the description. Check it out. There is um, a percentage that I like give back for people signing up. So if you want to help support my channel that way, feel free to do so. There's definitely an easy way to make some money doing Ebates if you are a person who likes to online shop like me. So secondly, let's talk about making money by one of, again, one of my favorite things, auto payments. Auto payments are not popular because <laughs> I think people, um, especially, I should say they're, they're usually not popular with people who are struggling financially because they don't get to split up payments or pay things late. So I get that there isn't that appeal, but when there is an incentive like I found for paying your bills through auto pay, which means that your whatever service provider of internet, uh, cable, cell phone, whatever, you've agreed to allow them to take so much money out of your account. I don't typically do it unless there's an incentive. In this case, I have two different uh, providers who have given me a reduction of basically a credit of uh, $10 per month simply by allowing them to auto debit my account you don't want to just like let this thing ride you want to pay attention to your bill still obviously make sure that things are accurate and you're being billed correctly but i mean essentially i save twenty dollars a month just by letting my cell phone um, which gives me ten dollars my cell phone provider and ten dollars for my internet provider um, because i allow them to, to auto debit they credit my account ten dollars i'm saving twenty dollars a month um, between the two so in a year's time I've saved two hundred and forty dollars to me that's pretty good especially if you look at the the prior number I just said um, about hundred and twenty dollars if I were to do about ten dollars a month between all my cash back um, things which I most certainly get about ten dollars back between everything then already I can't really do the math I want to say that's three hundred and sixty dollars I'm doing pretty good. I'm only on step two. So certainly look into auto pay, especially if there is an incentive. One disclaimer I would give you for auto pay is to um, set up your bank accounts kind of like I do. I think this is one of the better ways, at least for me, because I have an account that's strictly for bills. So, you know, just because I went out partying with my friends or whatever last night, maybe I overspend a little bit, you know, it doesn't ever mingle, commingle with my primary checking, which is used for all of my bills. And I also get paid by direct deposit. So I already know which days, um, you know, I'll be paid. I know, should know. <laughs> 
<laughs> what days my bills are paid. So, I mean, you know, if you look at the calendar, figure it all out. Um, auto pay is one of those things that as long as it's balanced and it's done correctly, you can certainly um, get an incentive by way of a credit or a reduced bill cost. So that's number two. Number three is to look into rebates, especially for larger purchases. This is a great way for me. I easily get about $200 a year simply from rebate. I'll give you guys an example. I usually buy my contact lenses for a year at a time. And because I don't buy them every month or every few months, and I actually spend a little bit more money up front to get the yearly contacts, I every single year get this $50 rebate from AccuView, which is awesome because again, I was already going to buy contacts. I kind of, um, I have poor vision. So it's not something I can really get around until I decide to get LASIK, which mm, I'm a fan. But <laughs> at any rate, because of that transaction, I am getting $50 of it back makes sense to me um, another way that i've seen rebates work actually pretty often i've done this a few times myself is to uh change when you change cell phone providers oftentimes there's a rebate involved in fact this year i got one for 200 dollars just for my cell phone plus the 50 dollars this year i got for accuview lenses um, i plan to make another purchase soon that will give me a rebate of about 50 dollars just from that purchase and I mean, again, if you do the math, that's what, $300? That's $300 just this year from getting rebate money, which usually takes a little bit longer. So it's not like cash back where you get a percentage of whatever you purchased back usually in the form of like a check or a credit to your account. Rebates, you usually have to qualify for them. You got to send some paperwork in. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's still money in your pocket. That's what we are after. Okay. All right, so my next thing is referrals. Uh, I don't know if people take advantage of referrals enough. Maybe they don't think about them, I don't know. But for sure, there's a referral for where I live. I live in an apartment complex. And this is very typical of apartments. They will give you money as a way to you know drive their business. So if you refer someone who actually decides to sign a lease and move in, you will be compensated, which I think is a really good way to kind of add some money to your um, yearly budget and you help somebody else out, maybe help a friend find a you know a really good place to live. Um, you help yourself out because you get a little bit of extra money. Uh, hey, it's like a win-win situation for me. Uh, another way that I have seen the referral process or program or whatever you want to call it pay off is with jobs. So I am trying to think, I've had at least two instances where I have referred someone for a job, they've gotten hired, and there's usually some sort of stipulation, like they have to be hired and stay for 90 days or whatever, whatever, and then you finally get the money, but it's usually quite a bit. I think I've gotten uh, at least a few hundred dollars from referring a you know qualified candidate. Do what you need to do, but it's a good way to add some money to your budget. So be aware and search for things like referral programs with your companies, with your, um, what was the other one? Sorry, apartment. <laughs> so anyway, look for things like that. So the next tip is to use grocery store apps. Now this is something that is relatively new for me. I've only been doing this for about a year, uh, but there's two apps that I use, Ibotta, which is pretty popular, and another called Fetch Rewards. So I'll put both of those in the description box, a link to them if you wanna try them out. They're super easy. I mean, it's like kind of like free money to me because I'm already grocery shopping. Um, I, Ibotta's like one of the, well, they both work on points, so I'll say that. So, so many points translates into so many dollars that you can get in a gift card. But uh, the whole point is you scan your receipt. So they are looking at your shopping patterns. I mean, if that's a point of contention for you, if that's the issue, then you might want to skip this. If you don't care, then it's a pretty easy way to make some money because most of us, I mean, I think like at least 99% of the people watching this video are grocery shopping. I hope you're grocery shopping. I mean, I don't know what you'd be doing if you weren't grocery shopping. Um, anyway, I won't, I won't go too far down the rabbit hole there, but at any rate, these, uh, apps 
uh, will ask you to scan your receipts. And if you buy certain products, you can earn even more points. So my son is like obsessed with Lunchables. That's something on Fetch Rewards that I get like tons of points for. Um, Ibotta is another one that will give you points for certain types of products or, or bread or whatever. So, so here's a quick a look at fetch um fetch rewards is probably the one i use the most for grocery store apps um with rewards at least and here i'm just showing you guys like all the different things you can get points for um i mean there's quite a few lunchables as i mentioned for sure for me <laughs> and um, otherwise you get 25 points per receipt that you scan so pretty straightforward in terms of earning points and here are just some of the rewards you can get so i think it's pretty cool you can even do like charity there's quite a few different categories here um and i think you can get up to 50 um dollars worth so these are just the ones that i qualify for in the five thousand um point range which is five dollars essentially and you can even search i was attempting to search for red lobster for some unknown reason because I hardly, hardly ever uh, go there. But anyway, <laughs> that's that. So just a uh, little ways to get some coins up. Anyway, between the two, I get about $5 per month. So $5 per month translates into about $60 per year. What I'll talk about is consider switching banks, switching cell phone providers, switching cable providers, or whatever you're paying for. These are the ones at least that are more um, known, I'll say more known for offering some sort of incentive, usually in the form of money <laughs> for switching. So the bank is one that I, I kind of prefer. I've already told you guys about how I switched um, cell phone providers and I got a $200 rebate earlier this year. But I also just got $200 from switching banks. So I pretty much did all of my checking in one bank. I had been toying around with the idea of switching so that my savings would be isolated to one account, which is something I really prefer and, and actually like a lot. So I was already planning to divvy up my bank accounts, which is something I really highly uh, suggest to you all. But at any rate, I'm getting off track. <laughs> the point is they gave me $200 because I brought some of my business to them. And I see this all the time, like Wells Fargo, um, Chase, uh, I don't particularly recommend Chase, but whatever. Um, yeah, sometimes credit unions, you'll get flyers in the mail like, hey, bring your business here. We'll give you $100 or $200. And it's usually not like that hard. A lot of them only require that you do um, so many auto debit or not auto debit so many debit transactions and you get some direct deposit set up or something like that it's pretty straightforward it's not too huge of a hassle especially if you're doing like me and you're already wanting to split up some of your accounts so to get two hundred dollars in a year's time just from that one change i think it's pretty pretty awesome so let's do a tally up of all the things that i've talked about and what that money looks like i've got my handy dandy clipboard here we're going to do a tally of what that looks like in the course of a year if you were to even just do one of each one of the things that i just mentioned that makes sense like i offer multiple things for cash back or whatever i'm just going to choose one from each and we'll figure out the math so let's talk about first the cash back so i said that i easily can top out around ten dollars per month so i'll just say five just for argument's sake so let's say five dollars per month that is 60 bucks per year also, we talked about doing things like Ebates or whatever they're called now, Rakuten. Uh, again, I'll say $5. I'm being modest here. So that's another $60. I'm literally doing the math right now. So y'all just bear with me. <laughs> and we talked about doing rebates, which I would say in a good year, I may get $100 Maybe not, a, that's not a good year actually. That's like an average year. Sorry, I used the wrong word. So average year, give or take $100. A referral, a credit job, or an apartment referral, I'll say maybe $100 for that as well. That's not something you typically do like every single year, right? Um, let's see, switching banks. So easily for me, I made 200, but I'll say $100 as well. We're being really, really, really modest here. Grocery store apps, Fetch Rewards, Ibotta, I make about 
uh, five, yeah, five dollars. Sorry, I was gonna say 50, that's not what I meant. <laughs> five dollars, so that's another 60. Auto pay is $240 per year because between the two providers that I allow to do the reduction, I literally take that quote unquote extra money and move it straight into my savings. So for me, that's a $240 earning extra money, whatever you want to call it in my budget. So we've got for the course of the year, 60, 60, 100, 100, 60, $240. So three sixties, if you're doing the math is $180. We had three instances where we've gotten $100 each. So right now we're at 480 plus the last $240 because we've decided to elect for auto pay on some of our bills, which brings us to a grand spanking total of $720. I don't know about you guys, but um, I was taking an extra $720 per year. And that's not a huge amount of money, but I was being pretty conservative about the numbers and you can totally work some of these, like the Ibotta and the Fetch Rewards and the Ebates and things like that. Even the cashback cards, I see people do incredible things where they get way more than $5 per month back. That's just me, not really, that's just my regular spending. I don't really go out of my way um, to take advantage, I'll say, of the cashback rewards and cards like I know that I could. So if you wanna learn how to get extra money i'm sure there's people out there that talk in more detail about each one of these things but i think 720 dollars extra in your yearly budget is awesome that's a whole vacation for me actually i might be able to get two vacations out of that or whatever you want it to be so at any rate guys it has been a pleasure as always i want to see in the comments things that you all are doing to add some little extra money to your budget pad that um that yearly budget just you know give yourself so yourselves a little bit more flexibility please uh like this video if you found it helpful if you're interested in more content subscribe let me know what you guys are thinking i, I love to have these sorts of discussions so let's keep it up and if you are interested in following me on social media i can be found on instagram at single mom money all right it's been a pleasure as always like i said it's robin janae Signing out. Besitos.